G'day, g'day, g'day. Pete here from Pete's Tools. Another awesome day here in paradise, as it always is, as you know. Uh, yeah, guys, today I want to talk about uh, cutting aluminium or aluminium, depending uh, where you live, and uh, the results that you get when you're using a cheap plasma cutter to do it. They, uh, it might surprise you, actually. Um, yeah, when I first started cutting uh, aluminium or aluminium, whatever, I, uh, yeah, it surprised me how, it, how the different cuts of the different sorts of steel. Anyway guys, I'll do a quick video and uh, you can have a look and tell me what you think. Always remember to subscribe, same drama as usual, and uh, drop me a like or drop me a comment. You might have some better ideas than what I've got. Anyway guys, have a look at the video. So guys, so I've just got a, a bit of 3mm aluminum channel here. Um, that's all I could find lying around, so we'll just do a bit of a demo on that. And I've also got a bit of 3mm just um, plate steel, just mild steel plate steel. And you might think... Well, we'll have a look and we'll see what happens anyway, but uh, we'll cut this one first and then I'll do a comparison with this one. And then what I'll also do, guys, is uh, I'll try cutting a uh, great big hunk of uh, aluminum, like so, and maybe try and cut this piece off. And we'll compare it with um, mild steel, like this, and we'll try and cut that and just see the comparisons. You might actually be surprised what the difference is. Right guys, so maybe we'll cut a chunk out here, we might just follow this down here, eh, these ridges. So we'll come down here, and we'll cut a chunk out like that, and then we'll go back up there. Um, so this is 3mm aluminum. I don't know what that is in um, an imperial measurement, but you guys will figure it out, I'm quite sure. And uh, we'll just run it down here, go across there and cut it like that, and we'll see what happens. And remember guys, this is with my uh, 40 amp plasma cutter. If I was to buy another one, I'd buy a cut 50, because it just gives you that 10 amps more grunt. But anyway, we'll have a go at this and see what happens. Once again, guys, I'm just using my standard uh, PT31 plasma torch, you know, the ones that, the, the one that I like, you know me, um, you know me and how I like these torches. But what I am using is I'm using nickel-plated consumables, like nickel-plated uh, tips and electrodes. Um, see the nickel-plated electrode there? Um, I just use them because I find they're a little bit harder and they cost the same, so. I just like the nickel-plated stuff, it's just, I just had better results with the nickel-plated stuff. Um, I'll put some links in the description if you want to have a look and, and get some for yourself. But anyway, that's just a side by the by. So anyway, we'll cut this, guys. As you can see, that cut quite easily. Not a problem at all. I won't touch that, Pete. You'll burn yourself. You'll burn yourself. Ouch, 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 ouch. No, I decided I'm not going to touch that. So that's all good. So we've cut that out. That's uh, about what you'd expect. But um, now uh, what I want to do is, it's all very well cutting 3mm stuff, the quite thin stuff. So I'll cut some 3mm steel like this, and I'll show you. The so maybe with this we'll uh, cut it like from here, guys. About the same as what the other one was, down there and up there. So that's roughly the same. But of course this is a lot harder than what this is. Right, so you'd expect us to cut slower. And you expect the cut probably to be better on this than what you would on this. So let's have a look and, uh, and see what happens. So we'll try cutting the 3mm steel plate, guys. See that? Not quite as clean, not quite as clean a cut, but didn't take that much longer either, and it's probably, well that's cooled down a bit now, see that's probably a bigger cut than the other one as well. So, uh, so all in all about, about even I reckon, and uh, don't touch that peak, you're going to burn yourself, you don't learn do you? So we'll get rid of that. So if you have a look at the, uh, if you have a look at the cut on here, it's not too bad, actually this one here is a bit, bit rougher I think. Um, so those are both the same, same thickness. Aluminum and plate steel. So six one half does another earlier. This I wouldn't say that this cuts any easier than this really. Um, but I'll show you something now, and you might not uh, think because aluminium or aluminium, depending on which side of the pond you live, is uh, a lot lighter material than what this is. So you think this would be easier to cut, wouldn't you, with the old uh, plasma? But anyway, I'll show you. I'm going to cut something a little but bit. Thick. Here I've got a block of aluminium, and that's about half inch there, along here. So if you see that, so we'll try and whack that along the top. And I've also got here a block of steel, which is half inch here as well. So 
So we'll try and cut that and see what happens. So if I go like that, guys, you can see that it's the same thickness. Let me hold it straight there. It's a bit hard to do it, but it is. It's the same thickness. See that? So uh, which one do you reckon is going to cut the easiest? So we'll cut the half inch steel first, guys. I'll just use a little file I've got lying around here as a bit of a straight edge. And uh, we'll just see if we can whack a lump off it and we'll see how we go. If we even can whack a lump off it. I'll hold it here so uh, I don't get too burnt. And we'll see how we go, eh? There you go, half inch steel. We just uh, whacked that off there like that. Oh, I don't know how long that took, but it uh, didn't take that long. See that, guys? We just cut that off there, no worries at all. So that's not a bad little cut for a little uh, machine. Like I say, cut 50 would uh, do it a little bit better, but anyway, I'm, I'm stuck with what I've got, so so there you go. So anyway, that's that cut, that's, um, that's half inch. So now we'll do exactly the same thing, but we'll do it with the aluminium block. Here I've got my aluminium block, guys, and there's my half inch here that I'm going to cut off. So I'll use the same file again, and we'll do the same drummer again and see what happens. Get my fingers out of the way because it gets bloody hot. Go there, so we're only cutting through the half inch. Let's do it. See that guys? <laughs> I don't know if you can see that or not, but that is uh, quite an ugly cut. See where we're starting to go right through? We will go right through. It will go right through, but if I, shit, it's hot. If I try and take that off there. Ow. <whistles> Without burning yourself, Pete, you should put your gloves on, you idiot, but anyway. Take that off there. There you go, it cut it. See how ugly that is? It's really not a, lot, it's not a good look, is it? Well, I don't think it is. And of course, the aluminum. Oh, well, that's still hot too. But the aluminum is a hell of a lot lighter and a hell of a lot easier to cut, you would think, than what the uh, steel is like that. But it obviously isn't. So that's a bit of a trick for young players, isn't it? Oh, that's hot. So uh, anyway, guys, the. Uh, Moral of the story is, what I've learned is if you're cutting thin aluminum, you know, like two or three mil, maybe even five mil, six mil, uh, you're fine. It will cut just as good as what you're doing if you're cutting steel plate. If you're going up to like anything, you know, half inch or something like that, the cut can get really, really ugly. Um, yeah. If you guys have had any uh, any other ideas about cutting aluminum, give me a uh, give me a shout, or drop me a line, drop me a comment. Um, anyway, that's the useless information for the day. Hope you learned something. Hope you weren't too bored. Always remember to subscribe. And if you're looking for these um, these plasma tips here, the uh, nickel plated ones, like I say, just check the links there below. I'll put something down there as well. Okay, guys. Great to see you here again. See you next time. Bye.